Hi, I'd been asked uh, recently if it was possible or how do you import a version one Card Studio design into version two? Uh, and that is the purpose then of this video to show you how to do this. So this is the card design in version one. It's a photo ID card. Uh, we have uh, here then a background image, a photo, an ID number, and the student's name. When you're importing your card design, it's important to know the name of the card design and where it is saved. And if it is linked to a database, then the names of the fields used in the database and the location and name of the database you're actually using. So in this view, we can see here, this field comes from family name in the database this from first name, this from uh, ID number, and here it is uh, a graphic, it's uh, the image or the photo comes from a point to file, point to image file value. We would need to edit or change this in version two, but I'll go cover all that as we move through the, present, uh, the presentation here. If we look at the database layout at the top here, we can see the location and name of the database we're going to use. So we know the names of the fields we're using, we know the name of the database, and we know its location. If we save our card design, and if we then go to Card Studio version two, and if we pick File, Import, Card Studio one design, what we need to do is go to the folder and the design we want to use. And we have the opportunity uh, to rename it if we want or give it a, a completely different name. Once you're happy with the information, uh, we click import card design. And here is the design imported. Uh, we can see the field names that we're using. These have come in as dynamic data. Uh, but you can see for the photo, it is in just as a, a graphic and image. What we need to do is change that for this passport photo element. Uh, so it may be worth making a note of the position and the size of the image that we're using. Um, what we then do is we want to delete this and bring in the passport photo. Uh, and that was, I think it was about uh, 9.75 and about uh, 10, oh, that's what do. about that size. We can, obviously we can scale it if we want, set it uh, to the size we need, change the position. But also then you can look at the other elements in the card design and you can change or move them as needed. Uh, we can also, if we want to, lock them in place. So now the background image can't be picked up. Uh, and we could apply the same to the uh, the fields here. If we want, we can again we can lock them all into place once we're happy with the the positioning of them all. Once we've done all this, again we save our design, and we now open Print Studio. What we're going to do is create a new project and we are going to import from the Excel file. So here we need to go to or navigate to the folder and you select the database we're going to use. So as I said, uh, it's important to know where these are. But even before you uh, get to this stage, you need to know where they are. We are going to use uh, image color as the file or the, the field name for the graphic and we are going to show it or tell it where all these graphics uh, are, are stored and they are all held in this folder. We then pick next step and this will show you uh, two things. So here, it, first of all, it's telling me that uh, a project with this name already exists. So I can edit it. I give it a new name or I can amend the name. And then what you see listed down here are all the fields in the database. Now, uh, this position, this field I'm not using, so I could delete it. 
Uh, I could do the same with department. I could do the same with the, the date of birth field. Uh, but it does, depending on how many field names you have, it could be quite a, a laborious process going through deleting them all. Uh, so I will leave them showing. We move to next step. We're not having a signature, but we are using uh, passport photos. And this sets or changes the aspect ratio of the photo. So we'll leave it at three by four. We pick next. Uh, again, generally, I, I don't change anything in this view, uh, nor in the next one. And then finally, we can create our project. So what we have uh, listed here then are the fields and then the data or the records for each of those. Down the bottom here we then have all the graphics that we've got. What we don't have is the image, the card design we're going to use. So we would pick Edit Project Settings. We will then pick the uh, card design section. Yep, yeah. and we would select the folder, the design we're going to use. We then want to add it in, and we can see we're immediately presented with the names of the dynamic fields in the card design. And what we now do, need to do is create an association between the, the name of the dynamic field and the name of the field in the database we're going to use. So family name will come from family name, first name will come from first name, ID number will then come from ID number. Again, as I said at the start, it's important you know the field names that you're using in your card design in version one, so that when you go back to the database at this stage, you can identify them because they may not be as explanatory as the ones I'm using. Once we've made those bindings or associations, we can click OK. And now we want to select design assignment. So we're, what we're going to do is have one design for all the cards. It is possible to use different designs for different field values, uh, but that is a, would be a separate uh, presentation. Once we've made those changes, we can just click Save. And now here is our card design. So if I then pick one of the records, we can see it uh, presented here. And I can pick, as I pick different records, then you can see the images change as we uh, go through the images and the data. Uh, the only thing that will remain after that is to print out a design just to check that everything is OK for you. But we've already covered how to do that on a previous video. So thank you very much for, for listening.